Hello everybody, I'm back. Um, not doing another tutorial again. This one I am focusing only on the snap tool. I have only recently learned how to do this. I thought it was very interesting, so I played around with it a little bit, figured out a few more of the little fun things you can do with it, and so now I'm going to make a quick tutorial about it. Um, without further ado, let's move on. I'm using there's no picture involved with this, by the way. It's just going to be blank. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see everything. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of the pink lines. So this is what you're going to see at the top of your screen. It's called Snap. Uh, it has a few different settings. I'll be showing each one uh, separately. Off, rather self-explanatory though. Off just means there's going to be no snap. Fun. This first one I'm going to show you is all of these lovely diagonal lines. Uh, this is what I really wish I had a better screen recorder. I only have screen capture, so I'll just explain what I do. Um, I'm not using the shift key to make a straight line, by the way. This is all snap and what snap does. Snap will follow your uh, pressure sensitivity with your um, tablet. Uh, this is the diagonal, so it'll shoot diagonally across either which either way from either corner. Um, just playing around with some of the pressure sensitivity that I spoke about earlier. This next one is the grid. Um, grid is just a grid. You get to draw a fun little grid on your page. It might be useful for some people. I don't think... Actually, I will find it useful eventually in some part of the near future when I draw a cage. Because I don't like using the shift key. I'm lazy like that. Anyway, this is what it looks like. At the bottom of the screen, you can see that I went across the bottom of the uh, canvas with my pen tablet, moving in a diagonal direction. So it's just to show you that these will stay in straight lines no matter what you do. If you start at one point and start, it'll stay there. Okay, so I skipped one. This is a sunbeam. I don't know what else to call it. It looks like a sunbeam when it's on there. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to call it. It's Sunbeam. Woo! Uh, usually starts in the top left corner, which will be shown here shortly. I'm going to figure out how to move it eventually. I think I know how. So anyway, this is what the Sunbeam kind of looks like. Uh, very, very simple. I have used this before. It's great for highlighting um, your entire picture. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you guys a picture of what I used it for um, soon. Let me just find the picture. Not my best work, but you can see the sunbeam tool that I used. I also blurred it with the Gaussian blur. I'll go over that later. But you can barely see the light blue lines that I used, and that's I used the sunbeam thing for that. Very useful. This last tool I'm showing you is the custom tool for Snap. A very interesting tool to play with. I've only messed around with it like once or twice. I'm going to go over a few parts of it very basically. It's a fun tool to play with. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this is the curse this is what your cursor is going to look like as you're using this. It's a pink cross. Um if you click in one area of the screen, you'll have a a line coming off this pink cross. You have to click on another part of your screen to get to your full line. It's kind of nice because then you don't have to click and drag. And so this is what your pink line is going to look like. Again, you can see my cross. Um, I hadn't clicked anything with that. It was just floating. Uh, that pink line is one of the lines I made. Um, so, yeah, it's just going from one corner to the other corner. and didn't feel like playing with it too much in this. Uh, here's the other line I made with the cursor tool. So I made a very small X. Nothing impressive. It does make a kind of a cool effect, and I think this would be better for a sunbeam tool because you can choose wherever this major highlight's going to be. You're about to see that because uh, you can see all the pink lines coming out of the bottom. It has a focal point. Nice thing about this is that it will actually draw above that focal point as well in the same directions as your beams are coming out. That'll be highlighted in the next picture that I have. Uh, so yep, this is all the highlighted. Again, I'm pro I was shaking my cursor everywhere. I was scribbling and it only stayed on the one line that I had started. 
I had to pick up my cursor, put it back down, and continue to make different lines. It's very nice. You don't have to press the shift key, and it does follow the pressure sensitivity of a tablet. Again, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I was not expecting as much popularity as they've gotten. I'm going to try a lot harder to make a lot better videos. Um, don't be shy about making requests. How do you do this? How do you do that? I might be learning, but I can learn fast enough that I can uh, show a small example of how to do something in a version, in a way that makes sense to me. So yeah, just drop some requests if you have any.